Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of uh, Let's Play Terraria. And uh, yeah guys, I am excited to, to get underway with our explorations here. I'm going to be cautious of course, just uh, to avoid any mishaps. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling uh, a little lucky actually for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but I am hoping that we will be pretty fortunate on this episode with like in this case. I mean, don't really need the copper, but can't hurt. And oh my gosh, this gold pickaxe is just awesome, by the way. I don't know if I, if I showed it off much last episode, but as far as using it, that is, but it's way, way, way better than the, uh, oh boy. Let's take this guy on. And I'm not too worried about him, I'm more worried about the mother slimes. Although these little guys are kind of annoying. There looks like there's something up there. Alright, good. You can't jump quite that far. Now would be a great time to have, like, the cobalt shield. Uh, which, you know, as many of you guys know... Oh, hey. Wow, he can... He can get some good uh, jumping height there. It prevents knockback injury, which would mean that he couldn't like you know, cause me to fall down or something. And I don't really, of all the things to kill me, gravity would be the worst, in in my opinion at least. So yeah, guys, um, I'm trying to think what the direction is for this episode. Probably just to see if we can't get some some gold armor, maybe find a hook. Um, as you guys hopefully recall from last episode. Uh, I successfully crafted a set of three chains. And those three chains, I think, would be quite useful in making, of course, oh boy, my most feared enemy. Well, I mean, and the reason they are my feared enemy is because they nearly killed me a couple episodes ago, as you guys probably recall. And I know I'm wasting a lot of, um, huh. I know I'm wasting a lot of those, uh, I'm just drawing a complete blank on, on what that word is. Platforms, platforms. Got some silver down here. This is where I was last time when I almost died, so I'm going to mine this up very, very, very quickly and carefully. Okay, we're good. And now we continue on our exploration. The bats are more annoying than anything else. They're not too much of a threat. So yeah, guys, I um, I appreciate your comments, by the way. It means a lot to me to, to get all the feedback I've been getting thus far. It, it really, you know, helps me improve the quality of my videos. So, you know, if something's off, um, like on one of my World of View episodes, the, the, the uh, color was off, and I would have probably never noticed that or known that had no one mentioned it. So, I uh, wanted to thank you guys for that kind of feedback. It really helps me a lot. And also, I wanted to thank you guys just for your continued support. Uh, I've, I've made a lot of videos, actually, recently. And the fact that you guys are watching them, you know, it's, it's meaningful to me. Okay. Sorry, I gotta really focus right here for just a second. So I got knocked down there. See, that's that's the oh boy, our nemesis. Oh, and there's some gold down there too. Okay. Well, we are gonna go down there and take this guy on. I'm just gonna wait for him to bounce back. Oh. Okay. Now for chance. I can't see anything over there. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> the good news is we have more silver than we'll probably ever need. That's awesome. I can't think of what else I need to craft with silver. And so I'm getting a little bit of FPS there. Uh, just, you know. Again, my plan is to get a new computer uh, 
think sometime in November. Uh, probably in anticipation of um, the new Elder Scrolls game. That's my game plan. I figure my my main focus I still want to be Terraria because I really love this game. But with a better computer, I could do some videos for the more high-powered games. And oh, hey, there's even more silver over here. Just a little bit. And I figure that might be a good thing to do to um, just sort of get a, a broader audience interested in Terraria. Because, I mean, you know, if at first a lot of people dismissed Terraria because of the, you know, low graphics or whatever. Um, but it's really a great game. I figure so if I do some videos with games that have those, you know, uh, I guess more high-powered graphics, maybe... Some of the people who like that type of game will give Terraria a chance uh, after having seen videos of the fact that Terraria actually is a pretty awesome game. Uh, and I apologize for the squeaking in the background. I know it's annoying. It's my dog. Uh, Winston, come on. Okay. He, I shoot him off into the other room. Although you can still hear his squeaking. Hold up. Just, oh, yep. There he goes. Sorry about that, but uh, what can I do? He's... It's kind of hard to control, and he's rambunctious. He's a pug. Um, for those of you who don't know, a lot of you should know. I've, I've mentioned him in other videos. And I actually have him. Uh, I have a, a channel for him, which is in my other channels link. In fact, while I'm talking about other channels, uh, I'd like to give a shout-out for uh, Win Terrar. I'm not sure that's exactly how you pronounce it. I, I think it is. But he, um, he makes some pretty good Minecraft videos. So if you're into that, I haven't made any Minecraft videos because I'm not... Well, I am into Minecraft, but I don't have time to play it that much, and my computer... I can only play with it, like, on the slow... on the, like, the small map size. Not, not small map size, but small vision field size. So, I mean, if I have trouble with Terraria on, though, you can imagine a 3D game is just not so good for it. Oh, hey, some more gold. I think. Oh, no, that's Topaz. Well, still, it's valuable. And we can sell it later on. So that'll be good. Very, very cool. Yeah, so I would suggest you check out his channel as well. Uh, he, I think he did a Terraria video or two, and they were pretty good. So if, if even if you're not into Minecraft, you could at least check out his uh, those videos of his. I would, I would recommend it. So let's see. Like this. It looks like there's not very many monsters spawning in this area. I think the other area was very monster ridden due to the fact that it was so open. And this slightly smaller area doesn't spawn as many many baddies, I guess. Oh hey. Some gold. Very cool. And it looks like a fairly large chunk of gold at that. So that's awesome. Very cool. I think, I think it takes three or four gold ore to make a gold bar. So that's 15. Okay, so that should be what, like five gold bars. Yeah, that's not that much, but I mean, it's a start towards getting uh, the gold armor. The gold armor really will be what makes us for this stuff, so I'm pretty excited about that. And we're getting tons of silver, too. I don't even know what we're going to do with it. Probably just hoard it and eventually sell it when we when we need the cash or something like that. <clears throat> Alright, let's kill this bat. I really hate the bats. They're such an annoying enemy. Collecting some cobweb. <laughs> it's probably really unnecessary to get, but whatever. Oh dear. We were running pretty low on torches, actually. Well, I have been... I have been fairly... liberal <laughs> with the use of the torches, though. Oh boy. So this looks like a dangerous spot, so I'm going to put a sort of safety net in there, if you will. 
just to pre prevent myself from falling to my horrible death. I'm gonna kill these guys. And yeah, having this full set of armor is really helping me as far as, uh... Looks like there's some glowstone down there as well. Alright, come on. I'm just trying to have escape pathways just, uh... In case I need them later on. Oh dear. Gotta put that torch back where it belongs. Yeah, mining helmet, one of these guys. Oh god. Stupid bat knocked me down. Looks like there's a lot of bad guys down here. I do not want to die because of them. So I know this is not the fastest way to kill them, but it is a really safe way to kill them. Moderately safe, I should say. Fairly scary. I'm gonna wait for that to wear off before I go anywhere. I got a bomb. How much health does he have left? Quite a bit. Well, I'm going to mine this uh, iron. Now that I'm being left in peace by this... Uh, these guys. Sort of in peace, I should say. Still a lot of them. I uh, didn't quite make the jump. You gotta admit, guys, this is a, it's quite an intense game. I'm gonna, can I make some more torches? In fact, I can make quite a few more. It's gotta be, uh, gotta be a little aggressive there. copper in a second here after I... Oh, there's a lot of mushrooms. Maybe there'll be a, a, a life crystal around here as well. That'd be really nice. Oh, um, actually a question for you guys. Um, uh, feel free to comment on this if you have any thoughts. I was thinking, um, I don't know, I, you know, in addition to my regular videos, I've made a few like how-to videos and stuff like that. So my first question was, do, are there any sort of like how-to videos that you could think that, um, you know, you might want me to do stuff that you're stuck on in Terraria, or maybe something that you think that would be pretty applicable for most people in uh, Terraria. So, uh, you know. These guys are really tough. Oh my gosh, we got a hook. We got a hook. You see that, guys? We got a hook. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Well, I am very happy with that. I'm gonna take a potion though so we don't die with that hook on us. That would really suck if we died then, so... We are in a pretty dangerous place after all. A lot of copper. Okay. So again, being very cautious. How much gold do we have? We have 40 gold, so that's like 10 bars. Don't know how much we need to get a full set of armor, but I'm pretty sure it's quite a bit. So it's not quite yet time to head home. Um, it's kind of precarious here. I'm gonna quite an interesting form. Oh dear. Make more of these things. I don't know why it's going so slow. Alright, there we go. And you can see why I'd be kind of, you know. Just 
Sorry, I thought I heard something. I was just uh, stopping talking for a second just to double check um, what that was. Alrighty. Well, I don't really feel like collecting all of these mushrooms. We do have lava near us, though, now, which is quite dangerous. Um, so I'm going to be very cautious. In this area, I do not want to die. Oh, life crystal. I knew there would be one around here. I, I think... Ooh. I do not want any enemies around me, though. Because I... Don't want to fall in. To that lava. By any means. Um... Let me put some dirt blocks over it, in fact. Be very cautious with this. Again, being knocked into this would be game over, essentially. Do I have any other blocks? It's too bad, because there's some gold down there, but I, I can't think of any way I could get in there. Oh, there's just a lot of these guys. Yeah, there's no way I could safely get to that gold, unfortunately, so I'm not going to even try. Yeah, things are getting a little too dangerous down here. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go towards that. I might actually teleport home in just a second here, because it's getting... Okay, well, there's a steady... There's definitely some lava down here. Being very cautious. Very cautious indeed. I don't know if you can hear that in another room. My, that's my dog playing with like his frisbee. He's going crazy. He's going absolutely crazy. Alright, yeah, but we are we're around way too much lava, so I'm gonna teleport home. Sweet as you can see I made a little enclosure so that we could um uh, what's the word? Not spawn outside in the midst of night and die. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna go and end this episode, check on what my dog is doing, and also craft some stuff, and I'll join you back next time with whatever I was able to make, uh, with all this stuff. Probably a lot of gold. So, until next time, guys, take care, have a good one, and subscribe if you haven't already. Later.